Hello, so I have an unboxing to do today. Uh, basically, which is this white package right here, which is in relation to this, uh, which is something I unboxed on one of my live streams previously. Um, I'll try to find that live stream and I'll link it uh, down in the description below. But what this this is, this is a brine chip factory, hatchery, uh, which basically you put water in there, you put the eggs in there, uh, you hook up the uh, air tube to the bottom right there, and then you basically produce your brine shrimp. So I have that. Uh, so basically that's what that is. Uh, so I'm going to be starting to hatch some brine shrimp again. Uh, but basically this is a needed uh, aspect to it, uh, which is this product right here. So all I have to do, let me go ahead and open it up and show you what I received. Uh, don't need that piece. Uh, okay, so don't need that bag. Uh, so basically what this is, uh, this is basically going to be my sieve, which is a French press coffee maker. Uh, so that's what this is. So let me go ahead and open you up and I'll, I'll show you how it's going to work. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you had a French press uh, coffee maker, I'm pretty sure you know how where this is going. Uh, but uh, I know uh, Jesse with AC Aqua, he did recommend a certain sieve. Uh, which is a pretty good size one, uh, basically open thing with a seal on the bottom. Uh, but uh, that basically is purchased from Brian Trip Direct. I just thought, I, mean, I, I looked at the $14 price and that's a little too high for me. Uh, this is like 8 or $9 on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you want to try it out for yourself. Uh, this is something I'm attempting to do. But basically the principle is there, uh, basically with a French press, uh, French press a coffee maker. Uh, what you do is basically you put the uh, coffee grounds in the bottom and you do have like a little seed to keep the coffee grounds down below where the water is being dumped. Uh, so it should, should work perfectly. Uh, basically, let me take a quicker, closer look. And as you can see where you can see the uh, seed uh, on this right here, which will keep the brine shrimp and the brine shrimp eggs from getting into the water. And then, of course, you can easily rinse it, uh, easily comes apart. Um, let me go ahead and basically unscrews. And of course, you do have these C's. I believe this one has two, but I'm, I could be wrong in that. Um, definitely, definitely something I'm going to have to work on and see how well it works. Um, it has one, uh, but with the, with the tiny, tiny holes, uh, you, as you can see right there, it should keep all the brine shrimp uh, on the bottom uh, where it's gonna, not going to allow it to dump out when I dump it into the sink. So definitely, definitely something that I'm going to definitely try out. Something in principle should definitely work. Uh, so basically I'm going to dump the uh, brine shrimp into here. And then I'm just, just going to, let me screw this back on. So basically just pour the brine shrimp into that little cup right here and then you put the plunger down in there and then you press it down a little bit. I don't, I don't have to do it all the way. I know when you're making uh, coffee with this, uh, you can go down all the way, uh, just squeeze it. But that's not something I'm going to be doing with brine shrimp because I don't want to kill them. I just want to filter them out. So I'll put that down like that, uh, put, it, put it down where I can actually didn't just dump out the water I don't want in there. And then of course pour water in there to rinse it out. So definitely in principle this should be definitely a good way to actually separate your brine shrimp from the salt water that you don't want to put in your fresh water tanks or just basically the dirty water from the brine shrimp hatchery options. Now of course they do make bigger ones so if you have a larger uh, larger, larger way to do it of course they do make larger ones. Um, I'm not, as you can see on this one, this is a small one. I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot of uh, brine shrimp to filter out. So this should definitely do the work. Uh, now all I have to do, do is now is fill this up with some brine shrimp eggs and hatch them. Uh, I do have to see if the ones, I, the eggs I do have now will still work. It's been a while since I've made them. So the eggs I have may not uh, work. So. I might have to wait till I get some, but let me let me go and hatch some brine shrimp and get this process started. Okay, so I got my order from Brine Shrimp Direct. I got some uh, brine shrimp eggs, so I could start this experiment out to see how it goes. So right now I am trying to hatch some of the brine shrimp in here. 
Uh, I don't know how well you could see it, but it is running. Uh, at least you could see the bubbles. Kind of is a little dark in this corner right now because it is a little bit late at night and I don't have light coming in. But as you can see, it's on. Uh, I did manage to get some valves down there. Uh, partially, one is going to be basically for uh, emptying out the brine. And the other one is, of course, is uh, running the uh, air uh, from one of those USB air pumps that I got. So anyways, uh, I'm going to let this uh, run a day or two and get some brine trip. And I'll show you how the French press is going to work out in ordering of basically filtering them out. So stay tuned for that. So right now I am all set to basically harvest the brine shrimp. Uh, right now it's still running. So first thing I do need to do is of course turn it off. So all I'm going to do is unplug the air. Well actually first I'm going to close this off. Close off the brine shrimp hatchery. And then of course I'm just going to turn off the actual air pump. And I'm just going to let the brine chip settle down to the bottom. I'll let the eggs float up to the top. So I'll give that some time. And right now I do have the French press all set to actually harvest it. So first thing, I'm going to, of course, remove that. Set that off to the side. And that is all ready for me there. So now all I have to do is wait for the brine chip to settle down to the bottom. And then, of course, put all the brine chip in this little cup to be ready to actually harvest. So I'm gonna give that probably five to 10 minutes and go from there. Okay, so I gave I gave the brain trip some a chance to actually settle a little bit. And as you can see, I do have some in there. I don't know if that helps any more uh, than what it can, but I do see a lot swimming around. So there's definitely a lot. Uh, so now all I need to do is get the brain trip out. So I need to kind of finagle myself in here to actually get a good uh, aspect. So basically what I'm going to do, um, I was going to use this to actually empty it, but I'm, I'm going to do it a different way now. Uh, so I'm going to just try to take this part out and see if that will work. Uh, so all I need to do is remove this little piece right there and then just take, find a way to actually finagle that part out without dumping the contents. Uh, so let me go ahead and remove the airline from there. Uh, press that. And I should be able to pull it out. There we go. So that's pulled out. Um, so let me go ahead and just take my cup and just kind of dump out the brine shrimp uh, without going too far. I don't want the uh, I do not want the eggs to be put in there. So that's gonna be a that's going to be a good spot to actually stop it. And there is my brine chip uh, harvest, as you can see. So now all I need to do is, of course, put the other part of the French press in. Uh, let me go ahead and finagle my body here a little bit. Uh, so now all I need to do is just put this in there. And then just kind of push down the seeds so then I can remove the water. Uh, without getting the brine trip in there without of course squeezing the brine trip too much and that of course is going to be able to get me to rinse it so I'm going to take this over to the sink and rinse it out okay so now I'm at the sink I got my brine shrimp and looking at this um, yeah I mean it's kind of sort of working although I do got some some of the brine shrimp above where I need to filter it out uh, I'm going to see how well this does so I'm going to go ahead and dump what I can out and hopefully I don't lose too many brine shrimps. And I think I'll be fine, so I should still have some, yeah, I still have a bunch of brine shrimp in there. I'm not gonna add some filtered water in here. And then of course, basically get that filtered out. So I do have a bunch of brine shrimp in there. Uh, what I might need to do, I might need to get another seethe for this. Uh, that way I don't lose as many brine shrimp as I am losing so let me go ahead and dump out that water and then of course put more water in and then go feed my fish that should be good enough so I got them rinsed out I uh, don't need that at the moment but I mean as you can see I do have some brine shrimp in there so now all I need to do is just take this 
over to take this over to my fish and feed them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed my uh, Maltese with it as well as my Pistogrammas. So that's one way I'm gonna try to actually do this uh, brine shrimp is basically just use the French press. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find another one of um, these little seeds to better protect the uh, shrimp from getting out. So that's one thing I'm gonna try as well. But I still got a pretty good harvest in here. Uh, enough, enough for what I need to feed, so. I'm gonna go ahead and feed my fish. So, right now I'm with my Maltese. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the brine shrimp in here uh, and feed them. So, there we go. Nice little dump. Get enough uh, brine shrimp in there. And of course, I'm gonna feed my pistogrammas down here. And the rest I'm probably just gonna throw into my pond, so. They're definitely feeding up, as you can see, so. Okay, so it's not exactly perfect. I mean, I do lose a little bit of the brine trip when I do do use that, but I think that could easily be fixed by getting another sieve in there, uh, which will actually help prevent that as well. Just like my other uh, French press I do actually use for making coffee that has a double double one. So I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find some more of those sieves uh, and add, add another layer and see if that protects the brine trip from leaving. And probably go a little bit slower on pushing down, but Overall, I'm pretty happy with, with the results. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it does work. Um, it does keep some of the brine shrimp down there and actually feed my fish. Now with me, like I said, I don't have a lot of tanks to feed brine shrimp, and I really probably don't need it too much due to the fact that I don't have a lot of breeding going at the moment. But, I mean, these fish do like eating a brine shrimp. So it's, it's a good live food to actually feed them uh, from time to time. And as you can see, they are hunting down the brine shrimp in there. Gives them a little more, uh, little more things to do in there. Um, so now all I need to do is of course uh, wash out my uh, brine ship hatchery and get another batch going. So anyways, as usual, keep researching, keep learning, and have a great day. And if you do like this video, make sure you do hit that like button. Thank you.